stuff isn't just flexible, I mean it's it's pasta. It's uh I had trouble loading it into the machine um because it just collapses when you push it. Well that's orange flexible filament. This is my Tronxy X1. This is the stock extruder head. No modifications, no PTFE tube inserts, no Thingiverse stuff. And uh, and this is what's going on. And for reasons I'm not quite clear of, it's printing perfectly. And as far as I can see, it's not interested in misbehaving up here. This is the third layer, still going without incident. Well, it's finished. There's still no sign of any damage or mis, um, misfeeding on the extruder. And, well, look at that. It's not perfect, but it's looking extremely promising. I need to extend the um, overlap between perimeters and, and these straight line things. Um, and that will solve a lot. But these are just dial-in problems. I've made some adjustments to the settings and uh, let's see what we've got. That's a very odd experience pulling a, a print off the bed which is um, flexible. Oh wow. Uh, I look at the screen instead of the part. This printer continues to amaze me. It's now printed two kilometers of filament and it's as tight and precise as the time I first dialed it in. So this is uh, TPU. Um, I've adjusted the uh, overlap between um, perimeters and sides to be 55% uh, which is the default but it didn't work best for me for other filaments. Um, and I've adjusted the filament width. Its actual width is 1.64. I've adjusted it to 1.6 which is equivalent to upping the extrusion multiplier and it just seems to be about perfect now. Well there it is. Um, if you want to print something in TPU and you've got a Tronxy X1 or another Bowden extrusion printer it might just be worth having a go. If the um, the part's not too demanding, it might just work straight off the bat um, or with some minor tweaking as is described in this video. Now subsequent to this experiment I've done other work and the stock settings do cause problems with flexible filament further down the road um, with more demanding parts and I'll have more to say about that in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed watching and if you want to see the next video perhaps you'll subscribe. Thanks for watching. Yeah.